In training exercises like this, soldiers learn to rely on each other to get the job done. The same holds true when it comes to meeting environmental obligations. Environmental compliance officers are soldiers first, focused on training. So here at Fort Polk, officials created jobs specifically designed to assist the ECOs with their environmental duties. We strive to make sure that the units are taken care of and the mission on the, on the training side, the rotation mission, is not impeded in any way by the environmental efforts. Service technicians like Don Williams are assigned several units and every day they visit their soldiers to repair equipment, give advice or pick up used hazardous materials. Fort Polk is unique because of its Joint Readiness Training Center. This is where units from all over the country come to train. So Fort Polk relies on soldiers known as observer controllers. Observer controllers are out in the box. They've already been trained, environmentally speaking, they've been trained. So they're, they're kind of the eyes and ears out there giving guidance to the, the rotational units. Staff Sergeant Sean Mills says he teaches younger soldiers about sustainability. Maintain what we have, fix what we broke in the past, and try to make it better for the future. They're starting to take heed to a lot of things because they, they're starting to really realize that if we don't recycle and we don't dispose of our waste properly, we ain't doing nothing except killing our own environment. With the help of the observer controllers and customer service technicians, environmental compliance officers can fulfill their environmental obligations while focusing on training. James Williams, Fort Polk, Louisiana.